Now, in order to explain all this, it gave a term which is called bond order. Now, what is bond order is? They gave a term called bond order. It is the number of bonds between the two atoms in a molecular species. Now, Mamoti said this bond order can be determined by doing the half of NB minus NA. What is this NB? It's number of electrons in bonding molecular orbitals and Na is number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Now, once we know the bond order of that particular molecular species, we can easily predict certain things which are bond length. Remember, bond length is inversely proportional to bond order. Higher is the bond order, shorter is the bond length. Second, bond strength is directly proportional to bond order. Higher the bond order, higher the bond strength. Third, bond enthalpy, which is also directly proportional to bond order. Higher is the bond order, higher will be the bond enthalpy. And most important thing is the molecular stability is also directly proportional to bond order because higher is the bond order higher is the higher is the mo molecular molecule stability so molecular stability is also directly proportional to the bond order and if two species are having same bond order the one with the more electron in the bonding molecular orbital will be more stable because the electrons when present in bonding molecular orbital leads to what lower energy so that's why those molecular species which are having more electrons in the bonding molecular orbitals will be definitely more stable having lower energies. So now after understanding this let us now move to the molecular diagrams and the molecular electronic configuration of the homonuclear diatomic molecular species which is explained as by the as per the MOT.